What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello again, everyone. This is Pinky, your Gadsen BA. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to create a circular stretch effect in Canva. I receive a lot of DMs and inquiries how I did the circular stretch effect I posted in my Instagram account at Gadsen BA. So we made this video for you, Gadsens and Good Hearts. This is the sample we will create for you using the circular stretch effect. Let's now go to the blank Canva Design Editor. Drag a photo from Photos or Uploads. Using the same image, go to Effects and remove background. If you are using the Pro version, you can automatically remove the background under Effects. And if you are a free user, you can use the free alternatives background removers like Remove.bg or Sticker Mule. I will put in the description box below for the link of these alternatives. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you an access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. It's completely free and you can cancel it anytime you want, hassle-free. Now, let's proceed. To create the circular stretch effect, we must first identify the color palette of the image you use. How? First, you must set a background for the image. Go again to Uploads or Photos and choose a background. Click the background or the image you use and Canva will automatically generate the color of your image. Click the background. Scroll down the menu and you can see the photo colors of your image. See? Another option is you can use Canva's Color Palette Generator. I will also put the link down below for that. In this sample, I assessed the image and found various colors. So I decided to use seven colors as my circular stretch effects. So the next step is go to Elements, search for Circle, or just type letter C for the Circle shortcut. I will make it smaller. I color it white so you can see it. And then I will duplicate and make seven small circles in line. Duplicate it. Two, four, five, six, seven circles. Choose them and then position tidy up. I will then color them one by one with a different color palette of the photo. Click the first circle and using the color palette of the photo, I will color them one by one. So this is the photo colors. I'll color it and then the other one, I'll color it again. I suggest you use dark and light colors alternately. Now that I colored them all, I will create a single multicolor shaped circle. So what will I do? I will go the seven circles and copy or drag them on the next page. Like this one. I overlay various circles to each other using the color palette we create and make a single multicolor shaped circle.
done. To reposition the circles to an equal positioning, select them all and click Position, Middle, Center. Now, we already created our multicolor shape circle. Download it as PNG and transparent background. Click the transparent background and download it. Upload it back to Canva. Now create another page. Use the PNG multicolor circle stretch. And get the original photo without background we did a while ago. And overlay it to the multicolor circle. Align it with the end of the images aligned with the end of the circle, like this one. Now, we are going to crop the circle image to remove the area you want to delete, like this one. I suggest you start with the inner part of the image, like this one. And then uh, you duplicate the circle stretch effect and cover the other parts that is showing. I think there's still an open space showing his shoes, so we'll cover it. After creating the design, get and set the original background again and align the image to the circular stretch effect. Go to Uploads and get the background we used a while ago. Set it as background. Now align your designs inside. To add an accent to your design, I use the elements Frame with Shadow. So go to Elements and then type Frame with Shadow. Graphics. I use the circle one. I overlay it to the circular stretch effect. Like this. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this! If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And to be updated with our upcoming video, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky, your Godson BA. 
And in behalf of Simon, your good heart VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Remember to hit the notification bell because Simon will bring you another exciting tutorial in the next video. Bye guys! See you in the next video!